The reason we have love is because neurons suck as electrical processors. And so, well, all right, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's a statement that's meant to be provocative. Well, what mm -hmm. do I mean? Well, because neurons suck, we need a lot of them to get a clever brain. So, well, what does that mean? Well, when uh, a human infant is born, its uh, volume of its brain is about 400 cubic centimeters. And uh, that's about the same as an adult chimpanzee. And it barely fits, right? So death during childbirth is a, is, a, is a human problem. Actually, incidentally, it's an exclusively human problem. No other species has that problem, right? Mm -hmm. And then the human brain is born at 400 cc's, at, but the mature adult human brain is about 1,200 cc's, three-fold larger. Well, what does that mean? It means that humans have this crazy long childhood. We have the longest childhood by far of any species. There's no other animal where a five-year-old can't make its way in the world. Humans are, are the only one. Well, so what does that mean? It means that we have a situation where humans have an extraordinarily long childhood. They need investment of parental care from both parents. See, in most mammals, the male mates with the female, male doesn't do anything to, to help afterwards, doesn't even recognize its own offspring, wanders off, doesn't live in the social group, or if it does live in the social group, doesn't do anything to help. The key aspect of human sexuality is that most human females are monogamous through a, a single ovarian cycle most of the time. And as a consequence, assessment of paternity is accurate. As a consequence, paternal contribution to child rearing is widespread. And that is the reason why marriage is an absolutely cross-cultural human institution. You find it everywhere. There is no culture that does not have some kind of marriage. There are all kinds of variants in the rules. Uh, about it and how that's played out, but it is fundamentally human, and it is fundamentally human ultimately because neurons suck.